Good morning, happy Monday. It is October 2nd. Wow, October 2nd, 2017. And I am coming to you with another episode of Morning Motivation. So, in order to gain something, you have to be willing to lose something. Again, in order to gain something, you have to be willing to lose something. However, however, what you have to gain will always be better than what you have to lose. See, God will always replace those things and sometimes those people with better. So fear not. Do not be afraid to lose something in order to gain what's near and dear to your heart. To serve as king. All right. Shalom. Shalom. Before I begin this lesson, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakak Wadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God. His real name is Yahweh. All right. And Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Messiah, the only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Also, I'm going to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the true leaders of Israel. And also, I'm going to say Shalom to the hopeful elect, the 144,000, the men that's going out there on the highways and byways, making their bodies a living sacrifice week in and week out. And also the brothers that's pushing them. this um, truth, by the way, of the YouTube during the week and all truth and sincerity. Also, Shalom to the one third of Israel, the men, women and children that's listening to truth and sincerity. That's part of the elect. All right, and um, today I'm going to title this lesson, Are You Willing to Forsake the Things of This World for the Lord? All right, because, you know, when, when we come in this truth, you know, you know, people like to think, you know, that is that is all easy. When you give your life over to God, you know, um, you know, everything's going to be smooth. All right, but that's that's the that's the exact opposite. All right, when you come in this truth, you know, um, you know, the Lord says we like gold. All right, we're going to get tried in the fire. All right, so when you come to prepare the Lord, you know, you got to prepare your, your your heart. Your heart. You got to your heart, which is your mind. You got to prepare your mind for temptation. You got to prepare your mind for, um, you know, um, you know, um, going through different trials and tribulations. All right, because the Lord, the Lord is, is the Lord is going to try you. All right, so, um, I'm going to get Matthew chapter 19 and verse 27. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and follow thee. What shall we have therefore? All right, let's get that into that word forsaken. All right, because that word forsaken is, is, is important in this scripture. All right, it says to send away, to bid, going away or depart. It's, um, it also says of a husband divorcing his wife To send forth, yield up, to expire, to let go Let alone, let be To disregard, to leave, not to discuss now Of teachers, writers, or speakers um, Alright, I'm going to get the true point right here It says to abandon, leave, destitute Alright, so I'm going to read that over again This is Matthew chapter 19 and verse 27 then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? All right. So the so the Peter's Peter asks asking the Lord, Yahweh Shah, all right, if we forsake, if we forsake all, you know, what 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 are we going to get out of it? All right, it's verse 28. And Yahweh Shah said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me. And regeneration, you know, regeneration is reincarnation. When the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon the twelve the twelve thrones, judging the tribes of Israel. Verse 29. And everyone that hath forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. All right. So when you come in this truth, you know, you have to be willing to forsake, you know, your house. 
all right? You have to be willing to forsake brethren, all right? You got to be willing to forsake your sisters, your father, your mother, your wife, or children, all right? Or even land, all right? You have to be willing to, you know, you have to be willing to forsake, you know, the, the things of this world, okay? Um, you know, not to make this about me, but, you know, when I came into truth, you know, the Lord had me, you know, and, and you know, me and my and my um, baby mom, you know, when I had came into this truth, you know, I was about three months in. The Lord had it, had it where, you know, where, where, where we broke up. All right. And when we broke up, you know, I had, you know, we had a kid together. We had to have a son together. And, um, you know, the Lord had it where, you know, I broke up with my with my Eve and and, um, you know, my Eve had, you know, she had left with my son. All right. And I went about three or four months without 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 seeing my son. All right. So, you know, the Lord at that at that time, you know, he was trying me. All right. He was seeing, you know, how, how I was going to react, what I was going to do. Was I going to. You know, was I gonna forsake Yahweh Bashim Yahushai? You know, in in order to, in order to keep my um, to keep my relationship with my wife and my son. All right, so you know, when we come in this truth, you know, these Christian churches like to say, you know, you give your life over to God. You know, you know, you, you, you're gonna live a prosperous life. You gonna you gonna have, you know, you gonna have good karma. You know, all these different things. But you know, the Lord is when you come to serve the Lord. You know, you got to prepare your soul for temptation. All right, prepare your soul for um, trials and tribulations. All right, I'm going to read that one more time. This is Matthew 19 and 29. And everyone that have forsaken houses or brethren or sister or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake, for my name's sake shall receive a hundredfold and, and shall inherit ever, everlasting life. All right, so if we willing to, you know, forsake, you know, our houses, our brethren, our sisters, our father, our wife, our children, you know, houses, land. All right, the Lord said we're going to get that back a hundredfold. All right, we're going to get we're going to get everything back, you know, plus a hundred. All right. And he says, and and, and when you come to serve the Lord, you how about Shema was He said, you're going to get you shall inherit everlasting life. All right. So we don't have to worry about, you know, dying at, you know, 60 68 years old, 75 years old, 80, all right? You don't have to worry about dying of cancer, diabetes. All right, we don't have to worry about, you know, because because in, in, in the kingdom of heaven, we're going to have that incorruptible body, all right? The Lord going to give us new bodies, all right? And plus everything that we had back in this, in this, um, in this world, you know, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to have our, you know, we're going to get sisters, we're going to get our fathers, we're going to get wives. You know, we're going to get everything back. All right. But are you willing to forsake? You know, are you willing for, to forsake these things on this side? All right. And that's when that's where you got to have faith. You got to have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You got to have faith that the Lord going to promise what, what he wrote to us in, in these scriptures. All right. This is Philippians chapter three and verse eight. Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but lost for the ex excellency of the knowledge of the Mashiach Yahushua, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dumb, that I may win a Mashiach. All right? So, read that one more time. Philippians 3 and 8. Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but lost for excellently of the knowledge of a Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, my Lord. All right, so, you know, we supposed to count everything, you know, everything as a loss, all right? Because, you know, the scriptures say, you know, this wisdom and knowledge is 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 above rubies, all right? So, you know, this, this wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh Shai, a, a Mashiach, all right, it's, it's above anything, you know, you know, it can't be compared to. It can't be compared to, you know, the white picket fence, American dream, you know, with, with the house, with, with the wife and the house and the kids. You know, all that, you know, can't compare to, you know, the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of these scriptures. 
All right, because, you know, you can have the American dream. You can have a nice car. You can have, you know, wife and kids. You know, but what's the point? If you, 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 don't, you don't even know who you are. All right, if you don't know, if you don't know, you know, where you come from, how you going to know where you going? All right, so having the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures, you know, ha having, you know, having that, um, you know, having having the Lord deal with you, having that spirit, all right, it's, it's, it's above everything, all right, it can't be compared to, all right, why do you think these celebrities, you know, they have all the money in the world, they got all the cars, clothes, but they still miserable, all right, they, they, they still committing suicide, all right, they, they still getting locked up, why, because they don't have the wisdom, they don't have the understanding, all right, and it says, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung that I may win a Mashiach. All right. And that word dung, you know, that means shit. All right. So he said, I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but shit that I may win a Mashiach. All right. And that's the mindset, you know, that we're supposed to have because the ultimate goal is, you know, is, is getting that, getting that uncorruptible crown. All right. Getting beamed up on them chariots, being, being a part of the elect, all right, escaping, you know, the um, the wrath of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, that that's the ultimate goal, all right, the ultimate goal in this truth is not, you know, not to have money, it's not to have, you know, the nicest car, all right, the goal in this truth is to win your Mashiach, to be a part of that number, to be a part of the elect, to get beamed up in them chariots. All right, I'm going to get one more scripture. All right, this is 1 Peter chapter 4, and I'm going to start with verse 3. For the time past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles when we walk in lavishness, lust, excess of wines, re reveling, banquets, and abominable idolatries. Verse 4, wherein they think it's strange that we run not with the same Salaki. Read again. First Peter chapter four and four. Wherein they think it's strange that ye run not with them to the same excess of riot speaking evil of you. Alright, so you know, so that scripture is talking about all right, because when you come in this truth, you know, you know, you, you stop doing the things that you was doing in this world. Alright, you stop, you know, you stop. You stop uh, hanging out with the same people that you was hanging out in this world. You stop. Um, you stop investing, investing all your time and your energy into, you know, going to the club every weekend, going to strip clubs. All right. Um, you know, committing adultery. All right. So it says they think it's strange that you run not with them to the same excess of riot. All right. So, you know, in the world, you like say, oh, oh, uh, I used to run with I used to run with that cat. All right. Um, but, you know, when you come in this truth, you know, you know, like the scriptures say, you, you, um, you, you, you count, you count things as, as, as a loss. All right. So your friends you used to hang out with, all right, you, you, you don't hang out with them same people. You start hanging out with like mind people. You start hanging out with people, you know, that's, that's, that's think like you. That's, that's, um, they got the same goals as you. All right, and and when you stop hanging out with the with the with the people of this world, you know they they start talking, you know they start talking shit about you. All right, like say, oh, you know this guy all up in the Bible now, he all weird. Oh, uh, you know he don't smoke weed no more. What's wrong with him? You know that that's that's what these people do in the world. All right, but if you was doing the things of this world, you know the people will love you. All right, you, you um. You know, we, you, you you might post up on Facebook. You might post up on Instagram about the truth. You know, nobody likes it. All right, P people post shit. I mean, you post stuff on, on Instagram. People like, you know, you, you don't get likes no more. You know, people start, you know, putting comments, commenting on your um, post, you know, scoffing. All right, so, you know, when, when you, when you, um, you know, when, when, when you convert your mind, you know, when you change your mind, you know, to the, um, you know, when you convert your mind and, you know, you stop, 
thinking like the people of this world, you know, people gonna talk, people gonna talk about you. All right. So, um, you know, and the scriptures also say, you know, your servant is, is is not is not greater than than the master. All right. If they, you know, if they scoffed at Yahweh Shai, you know, if they scoffed at the prophets. All right. If they if they um. You know, if if they uh wanted to persecute Yahweh Shai, you know what what more what more are you, all right? And and you know that time is gonna come where you know, you know your old friends, you know they 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 they, they gonna persecute you, you know they they gonna send you up to synagogues, all right? All these things is written in the scriptures, you know, for our learning, all right? You know, so you know that was it on this lesson. And um, the point of this lesson is, you know, we have to be willing to forsake, you know, the things of this world for you, for you, how about Shema was shy. All right. Because when you forsake the things of this world, you know, you know, our whole point is, you know, to win, to win, you how about Shema was shy to get that, to get that uncorruptible crown, you know, to get beamed up in them chariots, to be a part of that elect number. All right, so that was it on this lesson. And Lord willing, the video is edifying. I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the true leaders of Israel. And also, I'm going to say Shalom to the hopeful elect, the 144,000, along with the one-third men, women, and children that's part of the elect. All right, to the next lesson, I say Shalom.